understand, ants do not like to cross and get dried up by diatomaceous earth. That's a lot. Probably more than I need. So, the plan here to keep the ants out of the damn coffee maker is to give them a desert of death to cross if they really want my coffee. Do this in a nice little presentable way is to make a little field that we're going to put the coffee maker on, but we don't want to stick the coffee maker on top of a field of dirt, and especially since they could just go up the side anyway, so that doesn't really help. But instead, we're going to smooth out all of this dirt and probably get rid of some of it. Dump some off to the side. Yeah, definitely didn't need that many. Got a small ridge. So it's just a flat board with about a quarter inch ridge around the added around the edge to kind of just hold the uh, diatomaceous earth once this is all settled. A nice little smooth pattern. And then four screws sticking up out of it. They have been set to the same height with that by adjusting them upside down against my coffee table until the whole thing stopped wobbling. That worked out pretty well. And smooth it out like we would I don't know, a little, uh, what do you call it, a sand garden? Something. It was a little bit too much in the middle, but well, uh, I don't think we need to be too exact because we're not, mostly you're not going to see this. Because this, as long as we're below those screws, now the ants have to cross. If they want to get in, they're going to have to cross this entire desert of diatomaceous earth and then climb up one of these screws and then cross upside down onto the flat board above it all the way back around to reach the coffee maker. Or it is a little insets just to align the screws a little bit so it just kind of clips in there. So now we have just a little gap between the two that the ants have to climb. The coffee maker sits on top of that. And voila! Screw you ants! Yeah!